it's still Tuesday, July 24th, Tuesday, July 24th of 2018. I am still on my way home from Macstock. Oh, my, my, I'm tired. <sighs> this is Guy's Daily Grind. Daily Grind. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm kind of on the home stretch. I still have about an hour and a half, hour 45 left to go before I get home. But that will get me home sometime around 3 p.m., which is good. And that's assuming that this rain holds up. Because after 3 p.m., driving anywhere near the Beltway, anywhere near the Beltway, is a freaking nightmare. So I really don't want to have to deal with that. And, you know, it's kind of like I was saying earlier. The the weather was holding up. You know, it it was looking pretty decent when I left Columbus this morning. And not long after I crossed into West Virginia from Ohio, it started raining, off and on. It's, you know, sometimes it's just like what it is right now, kind of misty. Uh, there's been a couple times when the clouds have been like hanging just over the road. There was a tremendous amount of fog this morning. So, let me speed things up a little bit here. There we go. So, oh, Maserati just passed me. He's really hauling it. Because of the weather, I decided to do something that I didn't really want to do. And that was take the Pennsylvania Turnpike instead of just taking 70 to 79 to 68, kind of like what I did on my way down, on my way out, I should say, because taking the turnpike was a little bit faster, so that's what I did, and everything I hate about the Pennsylvania turnpike reminded me of why I don't like to take the Pennsylvania Turnpike. There was lots of construction, even before I got on the Turnpike, when I took 70 headed east instead of jumping on to I-79 toward Morgantown through, you know, go through West Virginia and all that. I mean, I still would have ended up about where I am right now, though I haven't come up to uh, 68 yet. But this way is supposed to be a little faster, and chances are I still would have run into all the rain, (laughs) all the rain that I did going this way instead. But the Pennsylvania Turnpike, oh my God, all the way to it on I-70, construction, Lots of uh, areas where there was no shoulder. Sudden shifts in the speed limit. You'd go from 70 down to 45, and then up to 55, and then down to 45, and then up to 7. I mean, it was all over the map. And then you get to the you get to the turnpike, and it's it's pretty much the same same crap, where you've got all the construction. Lots of big trucks, and then the added fun of the rain and everything else. You know, 
I need to find... Here comes the rain again. It's like it can't make up its mind whether it wants to be consistent. I, I would rather it just rain consistently than this on, on again, off again garbage. Because it's just so... It's annoying more than anything else. It's like, okay, well, do I have my mists on? Do I have it on low wipe? Do I have to have it on high wipe because it's coming down in buckets? Or do I have to just kind of every once in a while hit it to clear the windshield? It's, you know, these are things I don't want to think about while I'm driving. So, you know, either be raining or don't be raining. It's, that's, that's all I ask. I was talking to, well, not talking to, but uh, Tracy was texting me earlier. And, you know, this is the first long trip, I mean, really long trip, not only in this car, but using CarPlay. And there's a lot to recommend it. Um, you get notifications when texts come in, and you just swipe on the screen, and the thing reads your text to you. You don't have to try to read it yourself. It asks if you want to reply. If you say no, it leaves you alone. If you say yes, then uh, you can do a, a, a voice a voice text reply. And it doesn't always come out perfect, but you know it's usually good enough to uh, get whatever point it was I was I was trying to get across. So the thing that hit me yesterday was definitely fatigue road fatigue. I mean, I've been gone from home seven days, and five of those days, I spent, here we stopped again, five of those days, as far as the rain, five of those days I spent a significant amount of time in this car driving people, you know, either driving myself or driving other people to and fro. And I'm, you know, I'm not complaining about that, but I, I think that that is what has led to the fatigue <laughs> that I felt yesterday, and to a lesser extent that I I felt today. Uh, I stopped just a little while ago for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, uh, I had some trash in the car that I wanted to get rid of. I stopped at a uh, Popeyes this, on the Pennsylvania Turnpike picked up some chicken tenders, and I'm kind of regretting that now because they're kind of kind of doing a number in my stomach. But can't worry about that right now. Uh, I've made sure I've got plenty of stuff to drink here in the car. Most of it has caffeine, so I actually drank a Mountain Dew earlier, and I'm not a big Mountain Dew fan. But I figured that Mountain Dew would probably have about the highest amount of caffeine. So I didn't want to drink more coffee, you know, even though I probably could have. Um, so I, you know, I drank a Mountain Dew instead. And now I've got two, two teas, you know, bottled teas, one raspberry and one lemon, that I'll be drinking on the way home. Man. But I'm near the end, you know, I'm in, I'm in Maryland, I am about 30 miles away from I-270, I'm on 70 right now, and that will, that will get me back home, or at least to the Beltway, which will then, in a roundabout way, get me home. And, you know, I, I, I realize I've spent a large portion of this guy's daily drive complaining. Oh, poor me. Oh, I only had seven days off or five five work days off so that I could go to a tech convention. Poor guy. <laughs> yeah, you know, first world problems. Oh, he's in a car. He's in a car that's, that's smaller than what he used to have. Poor guy. I swear. The things that people find to complain about. Alrighty. <laughs> that will probably do it for now. 
Uh, if you would like to get a hold of me, it is remarkably easy to do so. All you have to do is send an email to my email address, which works out well since you sent it. If you send it to someone else's email address, I won't, won't get it. And that email address is guy at mymac.com. You can also reach me on the Twitters. My Twitter handle there is MacParrot, all one word. If for some reason you just didn't get enough guy and all my complaining, well, you can catch me every weekend where I record the MyMac.com podcast with Gaz. And you can also catch me Wednesday nights, usually, where I do the Mac to the Future live cast over there on the Facebooks. If you look for my name, Guy Searle, you can find that there. You can also find that on YouTube. And I've also started, uh, once I've edited it down to its, its like final composition, I've also started turning those into uh, audio, just purely audio, and putting them in the same feed as, uh, as Guy's Daily Drive. So, yeah, lots of easy programs to do that with. So thank you for watching and or listening. And I will catch you probably in a couple days because I've got so much editing to do. I've got four Guy Daily Drives. I still have to do the MyMac.com podcast that I did while I was at MacStock. And then get ready maybe for a uh, Mac to the Future live cast for tomorrow night. And uh, then, of course, also get ready for a MyMac.com podcast next weekend so thanks again and we will talk to you soon thanks bye